Today I will take you through the login process to access your Peel District School Board user account. So here we go. First of all, I need you to open up a Google search page and type in Peel District School Board and you'll see that it comes up. I'd like you to click on that and now we've arrived at the search results. So if you click on the first one, it's going to bring you to the Peel District School Board um, homepage. At this point, if you click on BYOD Login, it's going to ask you for your to sign in. So at this point, students would put in, type in their student number, And then you would type in directly after, immediately after, at pdsb.net, which is net. And then you click on the button next. And then it's going to ask you for your password. So you type in your password. And then you are going to click on sign in your personal PDSB user um, page, BYOD page. So first I want to show you that in the left hand corner there's a circle with an envelope with the uh, M, red M. That is your email, your Gmail account for Peel District School Board. So that is where you'd probably um, receive any communication from your teacher so that's somewhere where you, you would click on here and then you would see an email from your teacher and so forth. And that's also where you could send um, messages to your teacher. Also, another area here is the Google for Education. When you click on this circle, all of the different applications that you can use to share, um, to document rather, your learning with your teacher are here. So we have Google Docs and Slides, which are um, ones that um, many students use and also Google Classroom. That's a place where you can access Google Classroom, which is another platform used. Um, another place that is important for you at this point in time with our distant learning is the library here. When you click on the library circle or icon, you will see that it will bring you to for this one here, Primary Junior, these are all the databases below that will help you with your inquiry, um, things that you're interested in and so forth down here. You would just click on them and then um, just go to them and uh, search whatever you're interested in. And underneath it gives you a, a brief um, synopsis of what the database has to offer. For intermediate and secondary, there's one there. We have digital citizenship, public libraries, and other resources. So this is an excellent place to go um, to just um, gain understanding, knowledge of whatever it is that you're questioning or you're trying to find the answer to. To exit, you just go up to the yellow arrow here and click on it, and it will bring you back to your page. Okay, so um, when it's time to exit this page, we recommend that you click on the three little dots here. All right, and when you click on there, you're going to see a little door here that says sign off. Please sign off before you exit, just to ensure that um, you are out of the system. So once you sign off, you are, it's, it's going to say, you signed out of your account, so that means no one can access it, and it says it's a good idea to close all your browsers. So it's a good idea to literally come directly out of Google and out of um, Peel District School Board uh, so that um, you are completely out of the system. Okay, so that's all we were to accomplish in this uh, tutorial. I hope it helps you.